Well, as we've been reporting, craft breweries are becoming more popular in the Twin Tiers and across the country. And according to the Brewers Association, the industry grew by 15 percent between 2011 and 2012. Just in one year. But lawmakers on Capitol Hill say there's something holding them back from being really able to compete with the big names in beer. WMY Washington correspondent, correspondent Ted Fioliso tells us about a plan to change that. Some good news may be coming for local microbreweries. It's a huge part of the, of the economy of um, our state as well as, the, as well as the country. Pennsylvania Senator Bob Casey is co-sponsor of the Small Brewer Reinvestment and Expanding Workforce Act, a.k.a. the Small Brew Act. Right now, small breweries like Horseheads Brewing and Ithaca Beer Company pay an excise tax of $7 per barrel. You're considered a small brewery if you brew fewer than 2 million barrels a year. But Casey says those guidelines have been the same since 1976. And since then, the beer industry has grown significantly. The Small Brew Act would redefine small breweries as producing 6 million barrels a year and cut the excise tax in half, $3.50 for their first 60,000 barrels produced. Casey says it would help small breweries compete with big name beer producers. And there's more. This study showed that it would be creating uh, many hundreds of jobs every year and initially in the thousands. Jason Lavery started a brewing company in Erie a few years ago and just opened a pub to serve his beers. It'd be a huge thing for us in our pocketbook as far as hiring new employees and uh, being able to expand our hours and things like that. Right now, the Small Brew Act has 32 co-sponsors in the Senate, Republican and Democrat, including Senators Gillibrand and Schumer. In Washington, Tefir Aliso, WENY News.